everybody, I'm Katie. And I'm Robert, and we're here at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. This is one of my favorite places because there is a lot of life. From various plants. To deep sea crawlers. To birds flying overhead. To cute. And not so cuddly critters. And so much more. A lot of work goes into taking care of our plants and animals here. But did you know that all life needs similar things? That's right, but what is that? What do all living things need to survive? Food, what else? Water. Water, what else do you think they might need? Friends. Friends, friends are super great to have. Fish need food to live. They definitely do, right? An animal probably needs food. Okay. And water at the aquarium. Let's just think of the animal itself. How do they get water? Drink it. They can either drink it or sometimes they live in it. Like okay. a lot of things here. Yes, all living things need water, and that includes us. When we drink water, the water moves to our stomach and is then distributed to our cells of our body. The cells take in this water through a process called osmosis and then absorb the water and use it for all kinds of functions. So just like us, all animals need water. But what about fish? Do fish drink water? No. No, you don't think fish drink water? What do you think? They have to. I never really thought about that before. So all of I us. I like chocolate milk. You like chocolate milk? Chocolate milk's pretty good too. The answer is no. No, and why do you say that? Because their gills already like give water to their cells. Gills mostly serve as a respiratory organ. They extract oxygen from the water, allowing the fish to breathe. But because the fish is always in the water, the cells of their gills constantly interact with it. Similar to the cells in our stomachs, water molecules can also move into and out of the fish's cells through osmosis. But how this happens will depend on where the fish lives and what else is in the water. So I'm wondering, does salt water or fresh water matter? Does it affect whether or not a fish drinks water? Possib yeah, possibly. Yeah. I mean, it's different. I mean, salt water versus fresh water, I imagine they have to filter it differently. I don't, I don't know. There is a difference. In the freshwater fish, they can just absorb the water through their gills and their cells. In salt water, they have to have filters that filter out the salt because the salt would just dehydrate the fish. The surrounding environment does impact whether or not a fish drinks water. With saltwater fish, like those here in our shark exhibit, there is a smaller concentration of water outside the fish than inside. Therefore, the water inside the cells of the fish rushes out to achieve a balance. This is the exact same reason why humans don't drink salt water. So don't try this at home. Hey! <laughs> This transfer deprives the fish of necessary water, so saltwater fish have to drink water to replace what they are losing. Let's take a look at one of our saltwater fish. Water is passed over the gills, but because they are losing water, water is also taken in through the mouth. They drink to stay hydrated, just like we do. But fresh water is very different. With fish, like our Paku here, when the water molecules meet the cells of the gills, there is a higher concentration of water outside the cell than inside. So water is absorbed into the cells, allowing the fish to have all the water it needs to survive. It doesn't even need to drink anymore. Isn't that amazing? But whether it's fresh water or salt water, all the fish use their gills to stay hydrated or control the passage of water in their bodies. Water is just as important to them as it is to us. Thank you so much for watching today. And if you want to learn more, join us next time as we explore, discover, and learn more about the wonders of our living planet.